Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And you already know, if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments too. I will be happy to make a video for you as well. Same as the over 100 videos man, now I made on Shopify customization. They were mostly requests from subscribers. Some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them right <laughs> i'm the good guy here but no worries just a like button that's all i'm asking for and actually if you are interested in shopify customization and you want to be an expert subscribe to the channel i don't have any courses to sell and never will i don't have any uh, codes to sell and never will and i have any membership so never will too uh, I, all the content i do create i post it completely free on the channel so it's a win-win situation you just have to skip around some ads and stuff that's the case for the most videos on youtube right and here i am back again with another requested video because i did post a video on how to resize the quantity selector uh, for the mobile only i got a comment from a subscriber this time i know he is so <laughs> i got a comment like how to resize it for the desktop only actually not resizing it making it in the center yes i apologize i did make a video on how to make the quantity selector in the center of the page uh, for the mobile he did ask me how to resize it for desktop but i'm here making for both in this video i will show you how to resize the quantity selector for both desktop and the mobile as well and you can pick which one you want to resize it on it as well that's obvious so whatever you want to resize the quantity selector on the mobile this video will help you out and if you want to resize the quantity selector on desktop only this video will help you out no worries and each changes will not take effect on the other so either mobile or the uh, the mom and uh, desktop sorry and without any more talking let's just jump to it as you can see this is the shopify dashboard in here i have down team which is uh, 15 the last version as of now so down team is the one i use in demonstrations i mean in the videos but if i scroll down in here i have every other free team i mean the most used ones which is taste sense refresh spotlight and trade and each i do actually try the trick in each one of these in the video, as I said, I do demonstration on down, but behind the scenes, so I don't bore people out, I do actually try it on each one of these. So even if you're not using down, you're using one of these, should work for you just fine. And even if it didn't, so drop me a comment. I would be happy to help you out. And I have to say this in the beginning of the video, so I'll make sure to give you some peace of mind. So you would know this video will not waste your time because you're not using down. Even if you're not using down, it will work for you. No worries. And again, for the second time, let's just go check in and show you how to resize the quantity selector for either the desktop or the mobile, and I'll let you choose. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So by the way, this is the Shopify store. I do all the tricks on here and everything you see here, I did it in videos, everything, literally everything. So let's just scroll down. Let's just go for this product. As you can see here, the quantity selector is this one below the colors in here. So. Uh, at first, I will show you how to resize it only on the desktop and the second, I will show you how to resize it only on the mobile, which is the opposite. And if you are wondering on the, about the, the rounded corners for the product pictures, yes, I made that in the video. It was already posted. So <laughs> yeah, I will quit now. I apologize. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So let's just get back to Shopify dashboard. And the first thing you're going to do is click on the three dots or left of customize, then click on edit code. It will take you to the code editor. And in here, we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folders and stuff, simply use the search bar at the top, 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 top left corner and type in uh, team.liquid and you will see team.liquid in here. As you can see, simply click on it. Then the next thing is scroll all the way down to the bottom page and you will see forward slash body as you can see this is the section we need because we need to pass in some code above forward slash body and if you notice there is no space so we need to create some space for the code click front of the last thing which is in my case is script click front of it simply hit enter on your keyboard here we go a new space in here so in this space as i said we will pass in some code in order to get the code, you need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, we'll get back to you the code, then see if it will work. I'm joking, no worries, scroll down description box, you don't have to do any of that. Scroll down description box and you will see a link named as code. Simply click on it, and when it will be right here, you will see the code completely free. 
no pay please nothing like that you will see some ads around the corners here but it's not mine this website is not mine and that will change this website actually i will use mine so anyway select simply select the whole code in here and by the way you see it says here width i think you know what this is this is a number so you want uh, the width to be bigger increase the number you want the width to be smaller decrease the number it's simple in here it says minimum height so 75 you want it taller increase the number you want it shorter decrease the number that's very simple so select the whole code as a said right click and copy get back in here and paste it above forward slash body paste it in the space that we did create i will keep the numbers like this because this is just for demonstration let's just click on save okay the changes has been saved let's just get back to shopify uh, uh, store which is this one let's just reload the page oh check it out now it's much bigger as you can see but if i did like this and click on inspect to switch to the mobile now it's the iphone 14 so it's the mobile if i scroll down it's the regular size it's not big anymore if i close this again it's much bigger so this will only uh, take changes on the desktop as you can see i know some guys want to change it only on the mobile which is the opposite of this no worries i got you so in here it says it says minimum width right so the first thing you're going to do is remove this minimum and type in max oh not mac max like this instead of min max and in here it says 1200 simply select this 1200 and write in 750 like this 750 after you do so the last step is click on the save button again well, here it is it's saved it. we will get back in here reload the page and see the changes now it's much smaller which is the regular size right but if i did the same again and switch to the mobile which is this one if i scroll down check it out it's much bigger now as you can see it's much bigger on the mobile but on the desktop it's in the regular size that's how you resize the quantity selector for either the desktop only or the mobile only on your shopify store and i'll let you pick which one you want in this video i think my job it is done so thanks for watching and catch you in the next one